Hi, folks. It looks like we've got two of you in the meeting so far. I might just hang on just one minute. I'm not going to keep you for long, but I'll hang on for one minute and then we'll get started. Um, and then I will um, deal with those that don't attend separately. If you could put your name in the Q&A box, it'd be nice to know who's actually here. I can see that Shubby's here. Well done, Shubby. OK, it's one minute past, so we're going to get started. Um, I'll upload this presentation onto Satchel One afterwards as well. If you want to go through it again or um, have your parents watch it or anything like that to help you. So I'm just going to talk through these things that are on the slide here. Program planners, assessor information, uploading the assessor reports, um, and then really I'll be answering any kind of questions. Um, that you have. I can see a few people signing in now, which is great. OK. Um, let me get to my slideshow. First things first, programme planners look like this. You should have filled out all the information that starred with the red stars that you can see there. You should have filled out all the information on these programme planners on ED of E. If you've got problems um, logging into your account or anything like that, then let me know. Uh, drop me a, a line um, or you could drop me an email. Um, put a question in the Q&A box and I'll get you your logging on details so that you can get on. Um, but you need to make sure that you filled this out and that you put the length of time that you're going to be doing the section for and a start date. OK, there needs to be a little bit of information about your assessor, um, some contact details, um, preferably a telephone number or an email. It doesn't have to be both. That's fine. That's going to be the programme planner. And then when you upload the assessor report, it will go into the box that you can see just there that says assessor report. In terms of who can be your assessor, if you are continuing a club at home or you've done a club at home because I allowed it over lockdown, then your assessor, your assessor normally would be a person that runs the club. If um, you are, let's just say you are in a, foot, in a basketball team outside of school, but you've been practicing basketball shooting at home, then your assessor could still be the person that runs the club. Likewise, if you're in a school team, your assessor could still be the teacher that runs that school team. Um, if, however, there's a problem with that, then you can and your parents are obviously at home, then you can put your parents down as an assessor. And that's the third bullet point down. So if you're doing an online course, there should be somebody in charge of the course who could be your assessor. But again, if there isn't, and there's no option, then I think you should put your parents down. Now, in the past, I've said to put me down because historically parents are not allowed to be assessors. Um, no relative is normally allowed to be an assessor. But because of the pandemic, because a lot of people have been doing things at home, the charity have now changed that. And we've said that we're allowing your parents to oversee those sections that you've been doing at home. And you can put them down as your assessor rather than me. Otherwise, it will generate me loads and loads of work. So if you are going to use your parents, that's fine. But can you try and collect as much evidence as possible? Obviously, for those of you that did this last year and have perhaps completed the sections, that's not necessarily possible now, which is fine. Again, just get them to fill out the assessor report, get them to uh, give a bit of detail in terms of what you did, when you did it, how you did it, um, what your goals were, did you achieve them, that sort of thing. They can even write in there that you were doing it during the pandemic. If you've had to swap activities, they can put that in there as well. They can say that you started on one thing, but then you moved on to another. They can put as much detail in that report as they like, and then you can update that um, and put it onto E, D of E to reflect the change. So, moving on, in terms of 
there's three sections. I'm hoping because you were bronze last year that you've completed your section section sections and it's just up to you now to upload them onto the computer. I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. If you haven't completed any sections, my question to you would be why not and what is stopping you? So again, if you've got questions, put them in the Q&A box and I'll try and help you. This pandemic should not mean that you have to stop doing all Duke of Edinburgh stuff. You can carry on, you can change sections, you can change activities, you can do things remotely from home. And I'm here to help you and give you ideas, but I can't do that if I don't know that you're struggling and that you're not started. So get in touch with me and I'll try and help you out. In terms of how to upload these onto the computer, there's two ways of doing it. The first way of up uploading an assess report is to do it online and it's really easy. I'm showing you a screenshot of what I did earlier. So if you type into Google DOV assessor report, the first hit that comes up is that top link there that says assessor's report, the Duke of Edinburgh's award. And if you click on that, you get to a screen that looks like this. And you scroll down to the bottom of the screen and then you fill in these details. So you can see it says participants ID number. That's your ID number that's on your account. So you need to log into your account to get your ID number. Then they'll put the level, so it'll be bronze. Then they'll put the section that, that they're assessing. So it'll either be the physical, the skills or the volunteering. Then they'll click on that thing that says I'm not a robot. And then the box that says check will um, turn red and you'll be able to click on that. And then you fill in the details, all the other details it asks for, and then you literally just press send and it will send it straight through to your account. So that's the easiest way to upload an assess report. So if you're going to use parents, um, Shubby, I know that you did things like basketball at home in the garden. That's fine, but I'm going to ask for you now to change me from being your assessor to your parents because they can vouch for you. They know that you did it. They saw you doing it. So they can now fill in that report and send that through to your um, your account. And anybody else that has put me down for activities, you are now able to change that to somebody at home that that can vouch for the fact you did it. Preferably, it would still be better to use a family friend um, or, you know, somebody that runs the, a club that you were doing. That's always better than using parents. But if you really feel that you haven't got any options, then your parents can be your assessor in this instance. So that's the easiest way to upload the report. The other way to upload the report is this way. This is the paper report and this is these report cards are in your welcome pack. When you first logged into ED of E, you would have filled in details and it would have sent you a welcome pack um, through the post to your address. Inside that welcome pack are these cards. And again, there's not much to write. You just put the activity at the top, your start and finish dates, what your goal was. The assessor should then fill in a comment, sign it and put a few details on there. And then you can upload that onto your ED of E account. I put a few notes here to please ensure that you fill it out correctly. I've had people upload these onto their account so they've not actually put the start dates and the finish dates on. The verifier will knock it back straight away so you must make sure that you completely fill it in. If you've changed activities due to Covid then please write that into the report. You know if you started off doing basketball and then you ended up changing to do football or something like that, I don't know, or you changed to do running in the neighbourhood, then just reflect that in your um, assess a report. Also, if there's been gaps in your sections because you stopped doing something for one or two months, that's also fine. But if this was, for instance, a three month section and for one of those months you weren't doing anything, then you'd need to change it into four months, wouldn't you? If you've, if you've missed a month because of something, then you, you need to reflect that in the time frame. So I'm expecting one or two of you that did stop doing stuff during the pandemic you probably will have had to have done your section for longer in order to make up the time because you still do have to do the equivalent of three months, so 12 hours. Once you've filled that out, again, take a photo of it and upload it onto your ED of e account and you can mark that as your assessor's report. Like I say, the easiest way is to do it online, especially if your parents are doing it. But if it's somebody uh, and if it's somebody else at a different address because they can just go online and do it, you might need to explain to them how. But that's how easy it is. The first way online is the easiest way, but we'll accept the paper reports as well. 
When you um, submit it, I've just put this slide back up again. When you submit it, it will come into this box here that says assessor's report, and then I can click on that and approve. I'll read it, I'll read the report, and then I'll approve it. And then the section is then complete. And when it's like that for all three sections, you have then completed your bronze award and you'll be able to get your certificate and badge. OK, so. I will answer any questions you have now if you type them into the Q&A box. Um, I'll try and answer them as they come through. I'm just going to start reading them in a second. The other thing I was going to ask you, though, is I've got an awful lot of students doing Duke of Edinburgh at the moment. and I'm getting a lot of emails. So I'm going to ask you if your surname is between A and D to send your email um, questions to me. If your surname falls between E and J, can you contact Mr Middleton? And if your surname falls between K and W, can you contact Mr Tromans? I've spelled his name wrong there. It's T-R-O-M-A-N-S without the U. Um, that might speed things up because I'm struggling to deal with everything because I've got so many students doing Duke of Edinburgh. Right, I'm going to have a read through your questions. Um, Shelby, I can see you've submitted your activity log for your skills section. Right, now that's an activity log, Shelby. It's not the same. That is evidence, but it's not an assessor report. So you need to submit the assessor report. So I'm, I'm asking you now, who, who was your assessor for that section? If it was me, can you change it to a parent? And can your parent fill out the assessor report online, just as I've shown you? If that's the case, then brilliant. Um, Charlotte, you've completed two sections, but you need to finish volunteering. If you change your activity, which one would I enter on the EDV report thing? Um, I think you could stick with the. Do whichever. So if you're going to change your activity, the activity that you finish with, I think, is the activity that you should put down. So if you're going to change your volunteering now, then I suggest you put that down. And just to let everybody know, if you change your volunteering, because that's the one people struggle with the most, you could, for volunteering, you can help siblings at home with homeworks. You can, um, you could, if you're in the uh, brownies or guides or scouts or anything like that, and you were running sessions, you could still plan sessions at home. You could even, as part of volunteering, you could get in touch with some of your school teachers and offer to make cahoots for them. Cahoots, Quizlet, things like that. Ask them what topic. They can give you a topic. You could even spend an hour each week making quizzes on Kahoot. You could even make quizzes um, for people to do during the pandemic to keep people's spirits up. Um, so you could put things together. You can design stuff online and be creative. If you can play a musical instrument, for instance, you could teach a um, one, you know, your brother or sister how to play. Um, or you could make YouTube videos of you um, teaching how to play a musical instrument and then you could upload those on YouTube and you could, um, you know, help all those other people out in society that wants to want to learn instruments. So that's a part of volunteering because you're you're trying to offer a service to people. So you could do stuff like that during the pandemic. Should be. Where do I change it? So I don't know what you mean by where do I change it? You've put down, um, so you've submitted an activity log for the skills section. That's absolutely fine. Leave that. You don't need to change anything. Where do you change the activity if that's what you mean? You need to log into your EDV account and open up whichever section it is that you're wanting to change and just type, um, type what the change is. It should be as simple as that. In terms of the assessor, should be, um, it'll ask you for your assessor online. So just change my name to your parents' names. Um, and the assessor reports, obviously, I've shown you how to do that now. So you can just log on online and, and have a go at doing that. Oh, I can see now you've just said that you've changed it. Evie, is there any way to change my skill to three months instead of six and have my physical as six? Yes, you should be able to do that on your account. There should be a tab, so probably called something like time scales. And if you click on time scales, you should be able to change them over. Let me know if there's a problem. Lola, what if you've lost your sheets? By sheets, do you mean the welcome pack? If you've lost the welcome pack, don't worry, because you can su submit assessor support reports online anyway. Um, if you've lost things like your logging sheets, don't worry, it's not the end of the world. They're always nice because it's extra evidence that you did the sections. But if your assessors can vouch for the fact that you did the sections anyway, then it doesn't matter because they can just upload the assessor report and we don't need to worry about the logging sheets. 
Um, okay, Evelyn, you know, I'm going to load the silver thing on show. Um, don't promise stuff that's on the PowerPoint. You loaded. Evelyn, um, let me just get my head around this. You are, Evelyn, you are, no, that message on show my homework wasn't for you. I don't know why it came to you. That was for my year 11 silver group and you're my year 10 silver group. So I don't think that's to do with you. I don't think that's to do with you. I'm going to double check and I'll drop you an email if there's something you need to do. But I think that that's not to do with you. I think that's to do with my silver um, year 11s. Any other questions, folks? I'll wait here for a minute and if there are no other questions, then I think we're done. Hopefully you'll be able to upload evidence. Tell your friends that this PowerPoint is on show my this recording will be on um, show my homework for people to watch it if they didn't get a chance to watch it this time round. Uh, tell me, can we upload the activity log as evidence on the DAB website? Yes, you can put your activity log on there as well, Tommy. That's great. But remember, the thing that is the most important is the actual assessor report, which you either do online or you fill out that paper copy. Evie Malcolm, you think you handed in your letter for silver, but you're not sure you're on the list. Did you pay Evie? Uh, maybe you could ask your parents whether they actually paid. That might be a reason why. I shall get in touch with finance and find out for you. OK, it looks like there are no more questions coming in, so I'll end the live event there. If you do have questions, you can always always drop us an email and we'll try to fix things that way. Thanks very much, folks. Ta-ta, bye-bye.